With me in the studio is Brigitte Knopf from the Potsdam Institute for Climate Impact Research. Her work focuses on energy systems and their effect on the climate. Welcome to the program. Now, that last report we just saw seems to suggest that wind energy is limited. What's your take on that? Well, first of all, it's, it's fully correct that there is, in principle, a physical limit on the wind potential, but it's not relevant for energy supply for the whole world. So it's not relevant for today and also not for 2050 or 2100. So nothing to worry about at the moment. Not that much, no. <laughs> Would you um, agree that solar power is the renewable that has the most potential at the moment? At the moment, yes, it has a um, big technical potential, but um, you also have to consider the costs and then you have to compare the different uh, technologies and what is uh, less cost expensive. Most uh, worldwide energy needs at the moment are still being met by the carbon fuels, oil, and natural gas. And we've got a little graphic here that shows that renewables now only cover 13% of energy needs. Only a tiny fraction of that is actually wind power. When is that likely to change? Well, it will change over the next years. I, I think in 2050, we will definitely see a change then. And what we discover now are some um, prominent, uh, um, promising examples of growing wind capacities. For example, in 2009, we had an increase of 30% in, in wind power globally. And also one um, other aspect, for example, the um, electricity capacity supply, the um, electricity um, in the year 2008 and 2009, the new capacities came half part from renewables. And these are promising um, examples on the way to 2050. Well, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, says more than 75% of energy needs can be met by renewables by 2050. But how is that going to happen? Is it just new technologies? It's not that much new technologies, but you have to, to consider that renewables are so-called learning technologies. So with every new installed capacity, the costs of renewables decrease. And they are not at their end now, but they still decrease in costs and then they become competitive to oil, gas and coal. Now you also contributed to that IPCC report. What, in your opinion, is the, the most important message? Yeah, one of the important messages you, you already mentioned, so this is that nearly 80% can be supplied of the whole energy uh, demand can be supplied by renewables in 2050. And um, the models or the scenarios show a wide range, but this is one um, example where we see um, the way ahead. Now, saving energy is also going to become increasingly important. What new technologies do you see that might be able to help on that front? I would say um, on, on energy savings or energy efficiency, it's not that much the point of, of new technologies, but it's more, um, for example, regulatory frameworks that has to be, have to be fixed, for example, when thinking of retrofitting houses, for example. Um, this is a very important part where, um, where you can have huge amount of energy savings and energy efficiency. Okay. Thank you very much for joining us on the show.